Philippine news right now, a second arrest has been made in a scandal surrounding stolen federal funds in West Haven. It forced a state lawmaker to resign, and tonight another city employee is under arrest. The issue played a big role in this week's election, and voters want to know how could this happen. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live outside New Haven Federal Court with some new details, and Susan, this mess just got messier. That's so true because it's no question that this scandal has definitely put a black cloud over the city of West Haven, and now we're seeing another arrest. The federal government and the FBI investigation claim that DeMassa and Bernardo formed a company to steal money that was supposed to be used for pandemic relief. After weeks of speculation of another arrest, John Bernardo has surrendered to the FBI. He left federal court in New Haven after being released on a $250,000 bond. Mr. Bernardo is 65 years old, no criminal record. He was a firefighter for 26 years, injured in the line of duty, impeccable background. But these are serious charges. Bernardo, who works for the city of West Haven in community development, has been on paid leave. His business partner, Michael DeMassa, was arrested just two weeks ago. DeMassa was an aide to the city council and a state representative. He has since resigned. DeMassa is also charged with conspiring to steal pandemic relief money given to the city. The feds say the men set up a shell company, Compass Investment Group to distribute COVID relief money given to West Haven. In the federal affidavit regarding transactions, it says these funds were then used for 21 cash withdrawals that were conducted by Michael DeMassa, ranging from 8,000 to 10,000 for more than 178,000. One invoice listed charges that included 180 hours of consulting service for COVID-19. And on February 26th, a cash deposit of $3,000 was made into the personal bank account of John Bernardo. Now, in the affidavit that we read, the feds say that the two men started this company and billed the city for more than $600,000 for consulting work that they say was never done. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, the fallout over this scandal and this week's election and why some are calling what happened outrageous and unacceptable. We are live in New Haven, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. A lot of upset citizens, Susan, and rightfully so. Thank you very much.